Hey YouTube, New York half ass Prepper here. Today we're taking a look at a, uh, a real oldie, but a real goodie. This is a, uh, a Walther Model 4. And uh, a lot of people have never seen or heard of this pistol. In fact, this is, I've only found a couple of videos on YouTube about it. Uh, actually, not even about the, the pistol. It's just uh, a couple of guys got them and they shot some video of them shooting them. Um, this is a handgun that was manufactured in Germany. Um, and it's a real oldie. Uh, not, it's not the oldest gun in my collection, but it's, it's uh, probably second oldest. Um, it, this particular example dates back, I dated it from uh, 1924 to 1929. It's post-World War I. This particular gun did not see action in World War I. However, the design by Carl Walter uh, was picked up by the Prussian Army. They gave him a contract in May of 1915 for 250,000 of these pistols. Now, if you're a student of military history and uh, guns in general, you'll note that they, they already had a 9mm uh, handgun out there, which was a standard sidearm for the German Army, and that was the, the um, Luger P8 in, back in World War One. World War II, they, they refined the P8, and then they called it the P38, which is a little bit more reliable. However, according to my research, this handgun here was actually more popular than the P8 in World War I. And uh, I don't know what the reason for that is, other than this thing is a lot smaller. And it has a... Uh, the hammer and the action and everything is all concealed on this. So it's... Uh, I suspect that it was more reliable and it was easier to carry and easier to keep going in a trench warfare environment. And the P8 is notoriously finicky, uh, especially with dirt and jamming and so forth. So I believe that was the reason for the popularity of this, this guy. Now, I got it next to a 1911 here just so you can compare the size. It's considerably smaller. Um, this, this handgun is chambered in 7.65 millimeter, which is basically, uh, which is 32 ACP in the American nomenclature. Um, and e despite being uh, less powered than the P8, it was more reliable and more popular. The, the guy, they stuck with this guy. And this magazine, this, this has the true European style release. Unlike that Beretta, this actually has the... Uh, I think uh, what's the other gun? The the Ruger uh, Mark Ones and stuff have this this style of uh, I call it a heel release on the guns. But I think this is the true Euro style. And the one having the bread is actually an American style. It just happens to be down here. I guess they were trying to keep it in the same area for muscle memory for the Europeans. But anyway, uh, you know, I already said it was popular with the troops. Uh, this was uh, Carl Walther's fourth design. They had a Model 1, which is a little 25 ACP vest pocket pistol. And then in 2 and 3, which is a little variance. And then they moved on to the 4th, which was basically a enlargement of the 3, Model 3. The, the, the Model 1 is a really small, tiny pistol. But that was very successful. They sold like 30,000 of them. Uh, this one, they manufactured about 500,000 of these um, from World War One. 1915 all the way up to 1929. In 1929, they introduced the Walther PP, and they refined on this design even more. But it's a very simple pistol. It's blowback operated. Uh, the hammer, it has a hammer under here, which is uh, concealed, and it does have a safety. It basically, the safety is a little clumsy. This is, you know, before ergonomics and all that stuff. And when you flip it back to this position, basically it positively locks the hammer from falling forward onto the round um, so you could carry a round in the chamber safely. Uh, the capacity is uh, six in the mag, one in the gun, and is actually this gun is still reliable even by today's standards. Um, I have repo grips on it. They still make uh, grips and other parts for this guy. Um, these are repo. I do have the original Bakelite grips, but they're starting to show their age, and I don't want to... Uh, since I still do shoot this handgun, I don't want to uh, drop it and ruin the Bakelite grips. 
and I got to talk to my finishing guy and see if we can clean up the finish a little bit, but still in, it's in good condition or fair condition. Uh, I would say, I would say decent, but that's not an NRA, <laughs> NRA thing. And, uh, this guy, it field strips nice and easy. You push this barrel in and, uh, the gun comes apart. It's kind of neat. Uh, and still works reliably. I had this out at the range a couple weeks ago. I'm going to put it back together with one hand. And it still works pretty good. It's got a drift adjustable rear sight on it. And uh, this gun is reasonably accurate out to 25 yards. Being, you know, a little 32. Uh, so this is a little, you know, step into a little piece of history here of this guy. This particular example is a, uh, a fourth variant. They made four variants of the gun over its uh, manufacturing lifetime. And this is the last of the variants, just prior to the introduction of the uh, of the um, Walther PP, um, which went on to become the PPK, and then later on into the modern handguns, the PPQ, PPS, PPX, and uh, what's that other one, the P99, and all of those other guns. Um, but this was the one, the first really truly successful uh, design that came out of Walther. Uh, as far as handguns, he did. He was selling rifles and stuff, also. Uh, so that's it. I'm going to put some some shooting footage at the end of this. I just had this out at the range, and this gun is unique in the fact that the ejection port is on the left hand side of the gun, which is kind of interesting. I guess for lefties, <laughs> go out and get one of these, you know. But it does have the safety on the wrong side for the lefties, though. And this is well before Ambi was even a word in anybody's vocabulary um but i shot it and it doesn't seem to bother me to come out the left hand side uh, you don't even really notice it um even though it's kind of weird uh as every every other gun that i have in my collection will all have the ejector on the right hand side or uh, they're like the beretta where it's just totally open so uh there it is this is the walter model four uh, mainstay of the Prussian army and uh, popular in the trenches, literally. All right, that's it. I'm out.